Hi family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is going to be another natural hair video. I know how much you guys like these natural hair videos, so I have a lot in store for you guys. Today's video is going to be about something I've never used before, but a lot of you guys have requested that I try it. And I've seen a lot of videos and I've heard a lot of good things about this particular product. It's probably one of the most talked about natural hair products. A lot of people have tried it and they like the results and a lot of you guys like I said have been asking me to try it and show you guys what it's like so that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today so for today's video we are going to be doing a little bit of a length check because you guys know that we just came out of a six months no heat challenge Whew, I was losing my breath there <laughs> I'm talking really fast because the sun is about to go and I don't feel like setting up all my lights and everything. Anyways, I will be doing a little bit of length check because about six, seven months ago, right before we started the six months challenge, I actually wore this shirt and took a picture and I did the little length check thing. My hair wasn't flat ironed. It was in its natural state like it is now and I pulled it down towards this little animal. I think it's a dog. When I did that video, I think I have a clip of it or a picture of it, but I'm gonna insert that somewhere. So I pulled my hair down and this was my mark. So today I'm gonna be checking that mark to see if we have passed it, if we are shorter than it, or if we're still at the same spot. Hopefully we're not shorter or at the same spot. Hopefully we have, you know, passed it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Today's video is all about natural hair. We are going to be trying out the Shea Bait powder for the very first time. I did a lot of research, I watched a lot of videos, and I also listened to you guys. A lot of you guys have been telling me about this product, so we are going to be trying it today. So the Shea Bait powder is the Chad Women's biggest biggest hair growth secret and not only is it for hair growth it is also for length retention moisture retention and a whole bunch of other benefits and you guys have seen those videos with the really beautiful ladies with beautiful long hair that is exactly what i'm talking about today i'm going to be showing you where to get the powder from i'm going to be making the mixture and i'm also going to be applying it to my hair so you guys can see exactly how to do it so that if you guys want to try it out as well you'll know how to do it. So for today's video, we are going to be using the Shea Bay powder from Shea Bay USA. I hope I'm saying that right, but this is the product right here. This company is black owned and you guys know I love to promote black owned companies because a lot of those companies have amazing products but just because they're small and they don't have I guess the budget to advertise on TV so people don't see them but do not sleep on these brands y'all they have the most amazing products so this is the packet it comes in and this is what the powder looks like let me pour a little bit in my hand so you guys can see see that It's all natural products with nothing added, which is the great part. So before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and do the length check. I'm going to pull a little bit of my hair from the back here, and I'm going to pin the rest of this up. All right, so this is the hair that I'm going to be using. Let me try to detangle it. My hair is a little wet, by the way. I did go ahead and spray some water on it before we got started. Just because your hair is supposed to be a little wet when you put the Shea Bay powder paste in. All right, so this is it. So this right here, see that? This is our new length. This is the dog up here. The dog is up here. And this is the rest of our hair. So yes, that was a quick little length check. See, it passes, it passes the dog. So I'm happy that we did pass that. And you guys know that my hair shrinks a lot, so as soon as I let it go, it goes right back up. Anyway, if you guys want to see an actual length check, either blow dried or flat iron, comment the word length down below. Just length, not length check, length. I want to see how many of you guys want to see that. But anyways, let's go ahead and make our Shea Bay powder mixture, and then we'll come back and apply it. All right, family, so to make our mixture, these are the things we're going to need. So first, we need a clear bowl. We need a spoon. And then we need our actual Shea Bay powder. And there are several ways to make the mixtures, by the way. You can either use a deep conditioner 
or you can use your favorite oil. So I think I'm gonna be using a combination of both. So first thing first, I'm gonna open up my leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna grab one spoon of this. Let's do two. I'm gonna do two spoons. All right, those are two big spoonfuls, by the way. And then secondly, I'm gonna add my oil. All right, I'm just gonna squeeze this in. This is going to help seal the moisture. So like that. All right, so then we're gonna go back to our Shea Bay powder. So I'm just gonna grab a spoon, a tablespoon. I'm gonna pour a little bit of our powder. And then I think I'm gonna do two spoons. Let's do two spoons. All right, so that's very messy, but I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna mix it up. So yeah, mix it up real good. So you can add as much oil as you want, as much um, conditioner, leaving conditioner, deep conditioner. Like I said, there is a lot of ways to make this and this is how I choose to make it. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more cause this is what I have right now. And I have a lot of hair and this is supposed to cover your entire hair, especially the strands of your hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna add one more spoon of leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna add a little more oil and then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little more Shea Bay powder and mix. All right, so this is what our consistency looks like. That is nice. And you can use this for a protective style. You can use it as a leave-in conditioner. You can, um, you know, twist your hair with this. You can braid your hair with it and just leave it in for about one to five days. And then you can wash it out and repeat the process if you choose to do so. All right, so our mixture is ready. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, family, so we have our mixture here. So we are going to go ahead and apply this to our hair. All right, so this is what my hair looks like. It is braided up in two little pigtails. So let me go ahead and take out the pigtails. I'm gonna take a little section from the side like this. So again, remember I have a little bit of water in my hair already. So this is the portion I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna put this in my hair and braid or twist my hair and use it as a protective style. So here we go. I'm gonna grab a little bit, like that. Grab my hair, and I'm just gonna rub it on. From what I heard, you don't necessarily need to rub it on your scalp, just your hair strands, cause it's gonna make your hair strands stronger. It's gonna help you retain length and it's gonna help your hair stay moisturized. So I guess this can act as a length check as well because once you put this on your hair, it's heavy, it holds, and it doesn't seep through your hair. So instead of pulling your hair down, it just hangs by itself. See that? It just hangs. So you can kind of tell what the length of your hair is. I don't think I'm gonna detangle it because I feel like the detangler is gonna take the product out of my hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and twist my hair. So what the Chad women do is, like I said, they make the paste, they put it in their hair, keep it in for about one, two, three, four, five, you know, however many days, and then they take it out by washing their hair. That's the first twist. See that? So again, I'm gonna grab some, grab my hair, and just rub it on. I like the fact that it's not messy it just holds your hair and it holds the length. But this is what the second one looks like. Again, it just helps retain the length. All right, family, so this is not messy on your floor, but it is definitely messy on your clothes. So see that? So do use a shirt or a t-shirt that you don't really care about. I'm gonna put this bonnet slash shower cap on my head and I'm gonna keep that on overnight. All right, family, so it is the next morning. My hair was a little itchy, so I definitely know it's time to wash it. So I'm just gonna do it in two sections. So first I started off by trying to rinse the powder out of my hair, and then I followed up with some shampoo. And as you can see, my hair is actually still twisted up from last night. 
So to be completely transparent, the powder is not messy when you make the mixture and put it in your hair, but it is definitely messy when it's time to wash your hair. This is one of the reasons I'm washing my hair in the sink because I had to wash and rinse my hair a couple of times actually. I kept finding powder everywhere. And as you can see from the sink here, yeah, it's a little messy. And you guys know that I usually keep my hair in a twist when I wash it, but I actually had to take the twist out to properly get all of the powder out of my hair. So that is definitely something to think about when you go to try this. But as far as the results goes, you guys know that this is my first time using the product. So for me, the immediate result was the fact that my hair felt and looked softer. I just went ahead and applied some leave-in conditioner in my aloe vera oil. I went ahead and braided it back up and waited till the next day to blow dry my hair. I would say overall that I had a very positive experience with this Shea Bay powder. I have to use it long enough to see the growth property, but as far as the moisture and the length retention, I definitely saw that immediately. So that is it for the video family. If you guys liked it, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already joined the family, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so you never miss my videos. Thank you all again so much for your love and support. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.